everyone, and welcome back to the Ruins of Life for our next Tapu. Oh no, what a fiendish puzzle. How will I ever solve this? Do 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 ba 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 Ah, oh, I love how everyone hates this music now. I don't. It's so cheery. Do 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 do. Well, that was a fiendish puzzle. I'm not sure how I managed to complete it. Let's find us a tapu. You reached out and touched the statue. Tapu Lele appeared. Tapu Lili appeared, as I said. The battlefield got weird. All right, so. Let's do this first. We're gonna weaken up Tapalele, and then we're gonna get to the interesting lore behind it, which is actually very interesting. So, as I mentioned in the Tapu Coco video, if you didn't see that, each of the Tapus has a bit of extra information that's on the Pokemon.com website, which isn't in the Pokedex or anything. And personally, I find Tapalele to be the most interesting of all of them. Haha! -ha, brilliant! This makes it so much easier for me. Just need to get you down to low. You need to do the same to me. So, the taboos are very interesting because they're supposed to be like the guardians and the good guys, but all of their stories sound very, I don't know, very suspect. So let's go on with the story of Tapu Lele. There is a legend which says that long ago, Tapu Lele once brought an end to war between the islands of Alola by scattering its scales and soothing the tired warriors. Ta Tapu Lele scatters glowing scales that physically affect others providing stimulation to their bodies and healing their illnesses or injuries. But these skills can be dangerous as well, because a body can't withstand the changes brought about by contact with too many skills at the same time. It will scatter its skills over humans and Pokemons for its own enjoyment. While it is innocent in one sense, there is also cruelty in the way that it casually brings others to ruin. Let's send out Nebby. If Tapu Lele doesn't have much energy store, stored in its shell, it may lack the strength to seize victory in a head-on battle. With this in mind, it tends to prioritize not losing a battle over actually beating a foe. And it's skilled its strategies such as inflicting status conditions on opponents. Nature's Madness slams a target with all Nature's Rage, reducing the target's HP. Nature's Madness. Tapalele's ability is Psychic Surge, an ability that no Pokemon has previously had. With Psychic Surge, the field will be turned into Psychic Terrain when Tapalele appears in ba battle, boosting the power of all Psychic moves used by Pokemon on the ground and preventing them from being hit by priority moves. Now, there's a little bit of extra that isn't on the English site. In the Japanese site, it goes into slightly more detail as to how it ended the war. Basically, it killed everyone. Yeah, you know I mentioned that these Pokemon are kind of suspect? Tapu Lili killed everyone. That's how it ended the war because it basically used its scales so much that it just 
everyone died of exhaustion. And that's really cool and really dark at the same time. Which... It's like, on the one hand, you see this person's catching the tattoos and it's like, Oh, that's bad! They're the Guardians! I honestly think these Pokemon are just as dangerous as they are protective. You think the Ultra Beasts are bad? They're scared Pokemon or creatures or whatever you want to call them that are just lost and confused. These Pokemon know exactly what they're doing. And I just realized I never used Paralysis on Tapu Lele, which is slowing this down. Oops. Alright. Alright. Let's use Max Revive on Tapu Coco. We can switch you in and get that paralysis in that I should have done earlier and I apologize for not doing. Since these battles take enough time as it is and in the last fight I got incredibly lucky. But if you couldn't tell, Tapu Lele is basically supposed to be kind of like a butterfly. That, whereas like Tapu Kuku is designed like a rooster, Tapu Lele is designed like a butterfly. It's hard, harder to see, but it is there. And I'll show off the Z move after we've caught her. Come on. Thunder Wave. Nice. Do, 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 do. All right. Now all that's left is to catch her. Again, as always, in Pokeballs. Tapu Lele was caught! I took a while. Tapu Lele's data will be added to the Pokedex. Tapu Lele! Registered! This, you registered a land spirit Pokemon! If I were you, I'd check it out at once! This guardian deity of Akala is guilelessly cruel. The fragrant aroma of flowers is the source of its energy. So yeah, that's all you really find out from the Sun Pokedex, which doesn't really give you the right idea of what this one is actually like. No nickname, please. Add it to the party. You reach out to the statue and there is no reaction because we already have Tapu Lele. It's just madness, existent ex existential crisis, <laughs> extra sensory, flatter, and moon blast. You can like, you can literally look at how long it took by fit like, mathing all of those together, whatever. Plus a couple of paralysis. Psychic Surge turns the ground into psychic terrain when the Pokemon enters battle. And it is a psychic and fairy type. So, I'm going to jump ahead to when we're in a battle and I'll show off the C move. So, see you in a second. Apparently, Nosepass is what's going to face our wrath. The wrath of Tapu Lele! Ba, ba, da, ba. 
the battlefield got weird. So, Z Power, Guardian of Alola. Admittedly, it is still pretty difficult to see that as a butterfly, but that's apparently what it is. Guardian of Alola! Which really should change colour to match, but... Ah well. Not Spark, which is not actually what I'd expect from Nose Pass. Alright. Let's end this and I'm going to jump over to Pokemon... It's not Pokemon and me. We're at Pokemon Refresh. We'll see you there in a second. Oh, for goodness sake. Always you. It's not about you. It's about Tapu Lele this time. Huh? Oh, look at that cute smile. So where does... Oh! Oh, did you see? Just... Oh, that's so adorable. Alright, let's give you a treat. And it's I like how I say that's so adorable, but at the same time, it's, it's still a terrifying Pokemon that uses its cuteness as a cover, really. Nom, nom, nom. High five! So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time where I think we're going after Tapu Bulu. So thanks for watching, bye bye!